Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how we can add a new series along with our current series. So currently we have a candlestick series that we have created in our previous videos. And uh, I'd like to have a new line series along with this candle series that will pass exactly from the middle of this series, the candles, candle series. So if I go to the Lightweight Charts uh, documentation, I think uh, you'll remember what a line series is actually. Um, if you don't remember, then um, all you have to do is go to getting started and uh, under getting started, we have series types. And uh, at the very last, we have a line series. Okay, so I want a line to pass through my current candlestick series. Okay, so if I go to my code, um, what's going on is that I have this big array that's responsible for generating each of these candles. So each candle is an object in this big array. Okay. And uh, this initial data, I'm passing it inside my series. Okay, so my series is called new series and uh, it has access to a method called set data and uh, inside this set data method, I'm passing this initial data as an argument. Okay. To generate another series, I need an array almost similar to this one. Okay. So in order to get a new series that's, I mean, along with this series, then I need another array where the time values match exactly. Okay. So if you remember that in a line series, we have time, but instead of open, high, low, and close on a line series, we have just value. All right. So I need another array in order to generate another series. So let's uh, create it. Uh, I'm going to rename this initial data to candle, candles data, candles data. And I'm going to use this array for my new array, almost, almost this array for my new array. I'm going to call the new array line data. And I'm going to use the time value from the candles data in this new line data. But the value I will generate from the candles data as well. So item, inside of item I have, I have to say time, item dot time and the value. So because I want, okay, so the initial data is not defined, that's because we don't have initial data anymore, we have candles data. Okay, and if I just comment this part out now, let's see our chart. So, because I want it to be exactly middle of each candles, if you search for OHLC, you'll see that okay, here, the top, the this is called a week actually. So the top of the week is actually high. Then the starting of the candle is the starting of the square is the close. And then the end of the square is called open. And the uh, ending of this week is called low. So I want my line to pass through the middle. If I want my line to pass through the middle, then I need the average of close and open. So I'd like to, as value, I'd like to average item dot open and then item dot close. I need to wrap this on a bracket and then I need to say, and then I need to divide it by two. So now I will have a new array. If I console log this,
you'll see that we have an array and inside of this array we have object where we have time and value property okay so a line series also takes this two property time and value all right now i i need to create another series currently our series our candlestick series is called new series but i'd like to rename it to candle series so new series will be renamed candlestick renamed to candlestick series okay and uh, the new series the second series would be called line series equals to chart dot add line series add line series and uh, inside of this line series we now have access to a method called set data and I need to pass my line data see the line data inside this set data as argument okay so if I go to my chart now we have a line series we have a second series along with our current candle series all right now we can do similar stuff that we have done previously with apply options so we can say line series dot apply options I mean we can customize it the way we want and uh, the way we have seen in our previous videos so I'm not going to go through it again because I've already shown you how to do that okay but we do have we, we can we can just change the color to something else say um, for example this x value and uh, then look at our code we'll see that our Second series is now cyan. We can also change the line width. So it's just a little thick for my preference. So yeah, it's now thinner. If you look closely, you'll see that our second series is on top of our main series. So if we want to change that, all we have to do, we have to create this second series before our main series so we can create this series before we create our candlestick series so if we check our code if we are check our chart now we'll see that our second series is now behind our main series if you face any kind of problem then do take a look at their guides they also have a, a um, section in their documentation called adding a second series uh, where they have added a beautiful area series they have also set colors to it and you see this um, purple tint color um, below the main candle series you can check their documentation this doc has all of the necessary information that you require to get this running that's it for this video. Thank you.